how does a Scrum Master improve communication and collaboration within a team? Um, this is a bit of a difficult one because they don't. Okay. Um, this is one of the things that I hear a lot is how do I, how do I do this? Whatever to other people. Don't, don't do it to other people. How can I improve communication? Well, I can't walk up, stick my hand somewhere and make them talk better. Right. That's not a thing. I, what I can do as a scrum master is role model. Okay. What I can do is create an environment that encourages that type of thing and a behavior and a culture within the team that reinforces that behavior. So I can role model. If I want people to talk more, do you know what I need to do? Talk more. I need to invite people into conversations, get to know them, find a way that they will engage with me okay? and have those conversations. If you've got a team that is struggling to talk on you know, whatever messaging system it uses, be there every day talking on it, letting people know that it's OK, that it's safe. Okay? You have to do it. If they're not talking in meetings, how do you draw them out? Okay, Partly. You have to say stuff. You have to show them that it's safe to participate, that there's nothing going to go bad by them saying their piece. So we need to use those facilitation skills. We need to help people hear their voice. Okay? So it might be break meetings down into smaller components instead of having the whole team sat on a call or in a room. Let's break them into pairs or threes. Let them have the conversation in a smaller space so those who don't want to or don't like to speak out can be heard. And somebody else can pass that message on. Okay. There's lots and lots of things we can do. But what we're not going to do is do something to the people. As I said, we're going to start role modeling it. We're also going to create environments. So when we facilitate, we're conscious that maybe we don't have the most talkative bunch, the most collaborative bunch. Well, what can we do? Yes, we can break meetings down into smaller groups and get them to talk that way. We can use exercises. We can bring them together. Okay. We can work with them, maybe individually, maybe in small groups, about pairing on problems, mob programming, constantly reinforcing that idea that this is OK, this is safe to do, this is helpful, this is beneficial. It's not only a thing that the Scrum Master wants us to do, it's a thing that we want to do because it helps us. And then when we've got these things happening, we've, we've, we've got the practices happening, they're seeing that it's OK, it's safe to communicate that it's not only acceptable, but possible. And there's an environment in which it's really hard to not. Okay, What we need to do is really reinforce that as a cultural aspect of the team, help them understand that it's part of how they work, that they value it. Okay, So get them talking about it. What are the benefits that you see? What would you like to do differently going forwards? And then as new people join the team, Guess what? The team is going to hold them to that. This is how we do things around here is not a bad thing. OK, it's a thing. If this is how we do things around here and therefore we're not willing to change it. I'm not a fan. Um, but if it is just genuinely, this is how we do things around here. Please try and fit in. If you've got ideas, bring them to us and we'll work with them and we'll share and we'll collaborate because that's what we do. Then you're winning. This is a great place to be. What we want to do invariably in teams with low collaboration, low communication is show them that it's possible. And I've mentioned it a few times, so that safety piece is important. Okay? Start talking, tell them stuff's gone wrong, communicate. They're not going to. Why would they communicate in an environment where they believe that it's going to do harm to them, their culture, their team, whatever? So show them nothing bad happens as they see that the braver, to use a phrase, are going to step up and do it and then work with those people, identify people who are willing to do that, okay? to start joining you in those conversations, joining you in those collaborations, helping other people, bringing them forward. Not everybody wants to talk in a full room. And we have to remember that. We have to create the environment where everybody can talk. So we're going to use those facilitation skills throughout. We're going to constantly be crafting and recrafting meetings to get the best engagement from everybody. That's our role in this. Not changing people, but creating a place where they can act differently.
If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.